My next guest served as a juror on the Lori Vallow trial, sitting in on about five weeks of testimony, brutal, brutal testimony, before being chosen uh, as an alternate. And what we heard has had a major impact on his own life, so much so that he made sure that he was in the courtroom today uh, to see this through. Tom is the juror's name. He joins me exclusively now uh, from Idaho. Thank you for, for being with us, Tom. First of all, I'm curious, after sitting through that trial, uh, what did you make of what Lori Vallow said today uh, during the sentencing? <laughs> you pretty much said it. It was bizarre. And I don't know who's, who she thinks she was talking to. Um, certainly nobody in that courtroom was buying any of it. Do you think, I mean, having sat through the trial, and I still sort of struggle with this, I mean, do you think she actually believes this stuff? Do you think it's some kind of act? Do you think she actually is brainwashed? Well, that's the million dollar question, right? I don't know. I still don't know. I, I've asked Kay and Larry, and I'll get diff different opinions from different people. I don't know. Yeah, it seems to me like it would be just too hard to admit to yourself that you killed your own kids, so it's almost like an easy way out, almost like a defense mechanism. You just keep telling yourself this, and then you don't have to live with what you right. actually did, you know? Right. She can't, she can't let go of her story at this point. Yeah. What was it like? I mean, I was in the courtroom for most of the trial, sitting very close to the, the jury box, kind of wondering what you guys were, were thinking. I mean, it was just such a long trial to sit through. I mean, tell me about that. What, what was the impact it had on you? Well, just every different emotion you can imagine, different times. Um, it was hard. It was really hard sometimes. It was, you know, the days that we had to look at the pictures of the exhumed bodies and things like that were, those were definitely hard times. But I have to say, there were also times when I felt a lot of support and nobody could talk to us, but you could still feel it in that courtroom with the police, the FBI, the prosecution, the defense, everybody was, they're all good people and you could, you could feel that. Yeah, it's interesting. I haven't covered a lot of trials where you got a vibe quite like this one. It was almost like a family in a sense with Kay and Larry, law enforcement. Now the jurors have kind of become a part of that family. It's really very interesting. It's at least one sort of nice thing out of this awful, awful tragedy. I mean, you had to sit there right across the room from Lori Vallow for five weeks, staring at her every day. Like what sort of feeling or vibe did you get from her? Wow, um, a lot. There was. Honestly, I felt, at times I felt some evil and just heaviness. Um, I don't know how else to put it. Yeah, there's a lot going on there. What was your reaction when you found out you were an alternate? Because I've always wondered, covering yeah. trials, it's got to be, I would think, like maybe a little bit of a relief, but also you've sat through all that and now you, you know, you don't actually participate in making the decision. Like, what, what was that moment like? I could not believe when my number was the first one out of the hat. And I, I was not going to be able to deliberate. Um, I was not relieved in that moment at all. I was really frustrated. Um, up until the point where the verdict came in and I heard that it was the way I wanted it to go. At that point, it was fine. Then I was kind of like, okay, I'm good. I didn't have to go through deliberations. I got to get out of there finally. It was a long trial. Um, but yeah, it was a little nerve wracking. Was there any doubt in your mind? Uh, I mean, you mentioned when you heard the verdict, you were like relieved basically. I mean, th did you ever have a doubt that she did it? No. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't seem like that. I'm just curious. I mean, it's, I can't imagine being a, being a juror and alternate on, on something like this. Like it's such an influential moment in your life, I would imagine. Um, like how has it changed you? Are, are, are you gonna be doing anything differently moving forward? I mean, I, I understand you're in the process of writing a book, but I would just think this would sort of change the trajectory of, of my life in some way if I, if I were in your shoes. It has, it definitely has. I mean, just the idea of writing the book. Um, I was sitting there a lot of times wondering what goods can I get out of this? There must be something and um, I decided to do this and I'm going to uh, donate the proceed the profits of this book to I, there's two organizations I'm looking at right now I'm not going to name them because I haven't narrowed it down yet but I'm going to donate the profits from the book to one of them and they're organizations that are there to help children who are at risk or in danger 
Yeah, well, that's very nice of you, and that's a nice way to give back after um, going through what you went through, sitting through that trial. Tom, thank you so much for coming on tonight, especially on such a big day with the sentencing. Uh, we really appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.